Section 3 Configuring Virtual Networking. In this section, we'll be looking at various virtual network concepts, including comparison between virtual network, physical network, virtual network design rules, which allow connectivity between virtual networks and external networks. VLAN is a logical network configuration and a well known concept in the regular network world. However, in the virtual network world, we have a similar concept called port group. And as long as two virtual machines have the same network label and common configuration, they're able to communicate with each other. The port group is of two types. The first one is a virtual machine port group, allowing connectivity between virtual machines. And there's a special port group called VM kernel with its own TCP IP stack and provides access to iSCSI, vMotion, fault tolerant logging, and management for ESXi. Uplink in the virtual networking is a physical network card on the ESXi host which enables connectivity to the enterprise or external network. A virtual network is defined as any network with virtual machines able to connect and communicate among themselves as well as the external network. VNIC or virtual NIC is the network interface card on the virtual machine and PNIC or physical NIC is the actual physical network interface card on the ESXi host. Two switches are identified. One is a standard virtual switch software construct and in the VM kernel. It allows networking connectivity between the VMs and external networks. It is actually the glue that connects all of the networking components in the virtual network. A more advanced version is distributed virtual switch. It is a single switch across all hosts in a data center allowing for centralized management. However, it is only available with vCenter. The virtual network concepts when seen in this graphic show four VMs, each VM with a single virtual NIC connecting to a port on the virtual standard switch. And in the virtual standard switches are now connected to the enterprise network using the ESXi or uplink card. The uplink is actual physical network interface card on the ESXi host. And in the same graphic, we see the transition from virtual networks to a physical network. And this is seamless traffic flowing between virtual and network in the physical world do that transparently and without any issues. This is a more detailed graphic showing the port group per VM. So we have showing three virtual machines connected to a virtual machine port group and two VM kernel port groups. Something to note here is that a single virtual switch can have a mix of VM kernel and virtual machine port groups. In addition, the virtual switch is connected to the enterprise network using uplink adapters. This is a graphic from web client, which is a GUI based client for ESXi. The first highlighted part shows vSwitch 0 and vSwitch 1, two standard switches. vSwitch 0 is automatically installed with ESXi host, allowing configuration and management of the ESXi host. And at some time, a vSwitch 1 has been added to perhaps add additional functionality. The second highlighted part shows a network called 400-prod, appears to be a production network. The VLAN ID is 400. The highlighted area below that shows a network called 300-dev, appears to be a development network with a VLAN ID 300. Now these numbers are not chosen randomly, rather there's a one-to-one -one mapping between this number and the actual VLANs that are running on the enterprise network. Virtual machines in a data center connect to networks similar to how they connect in a physical environment. And any user or server communicating with a virtual machine is unable to determine if it's talking and communicating with a virtual machine or a physical server. Virtual network elements that we reviewed earlier include virtual NICs, vSphere standard switch, a distributed switch, and port groups. And these components together allow that traffic to flow between virtual networks and physical networks. Each virtual machine can have one or more virtual NICs. In the following videos, we will see how in vSphere 6.x, the virtual NICs can be up to 10, allowing a connectivity to 10 different networks. A virtual NIC has its own MAC and IP address. The VM kernel TCP IP networking stack supports iSCSI, NFS, vMotion, for tolerance logging, in addition to other services. The virtual machines communicate through standard and distributed switches. 
and virtual networking provides connectivity between virtual machines and there are multiple flows that are possible. Network flow between virtual machines on the same host, between virtual machines on different hosts, between other virtual machines and physical machines. To summarize virtual network concepts in terms understanding of virtual network concepts and the various types of virtual network flows that are possible.